This movie is a romantic comedy that brings laughter and warmth to the viewers' hearts. The movie begins with the Buffalo Yolanda High School graduation. As one graduation goes, everyone has to present their speech on the main stage. This is when we meet the protagonist, Dennis Coleman. He is a highly shrewd student and he is there to accept his title as a valedictorian. When his turn comes, he gets up to deliver his speech. And to put it in nice words, his speech isn't what you would expect. His speech isn't the typical speech of gratitude you see at every graduation from every student. I would say his speech is more like an expression of love. In his speech he reveals his love for Beth Cooper. Beth has been Dennis's classmate since seventh grade. Dennis goes on about his love for Beth as he says that he has been crazily in love with her. Since he first laid eyes on her in seventh grade, he says that he couldn't express his love to her before because they never talked. Dennis had finally gathered the courage to say that he loves her, he isn't afraid of anyone, not even of her. This is where things get kind of awkward. He confesses that he has an eating disorder and also admits that he is a moron. He moves away from these topics and goes on to insulting some of his classmates. He says terrible matters about Greg and then moves on to Kevin, who is Beth's boyfriend, who may I add is in the army. The last person who he criticizes is Rich. He asks him to admit that he is gay in front of everyone. Yikes. As Dennis is about to continue his own show, he is stopped by one of the teachers. The scene is cut and we see Dennis with a professor. The professor scolds him but also expresses her sympathy for him. She asks him if he thinks that was the right time to do such thing. Dennis proudly says that he can't waste his time anymore and wants to cherish these types of moments in life. This touches the professor as she is remembers her past love. Later we see Beth coming up to Dennis. She tells him that he has embarrassed her and that she's angry at him. Beth tries to tease Dennis as she takes her graduation gown off. Rich joins the conversation as well and hears Dennis inviting Beth to a party later on in his house. As they're having a conversation, Beth's boyfriend Kevin comes up to them and is ready to beat up Dennis. He is embarrassed because Dennis had humiliated him in front of everyone. Luckily for Dennis, Kevin is stopped by a professor and the situation calms down. The two best friends leave and as they're walking home they are reminiscing about the time they spent together and how they were before the graduation. Dennis didn't like the fact that he had never had a girlfriend because he was a cowardly man and Rich was sad about the fact that he was questioning his gender. Dennis arrives home and lets his parents know about the party that was going to happen in their house tonight. Dennis's father is happy and proud that his son is finally about to lose himself to someone. He even tells him where he can get protection if he needed it. <coughs> Dennis and Rich are not so sure about that. Later on Beth and her friends arrive at Dennis's house. Beth being the bully she is, she makes fun of how coward the young boys were. On the opposite though, Beth's friends call them cute. When they got into the house, they are surprised to see that no one is there. Later on we learn that no party was planned but either way the teenagers started to enjoy. They start laughing and having fun. As a joke, the protections were brought out if they were used as balloons. Beth and Dennis are play fighting, but as Beth gets on top of Dennis she sees that Dennis has an hard on. She and her friends make fun of him but all is interrupted when Kevin and his friends walk into the house. Dennis locks all the doors and windows, but one door is forgotten, and that is where Kevin and his friends enter. Beth tries to calm down the situation by telling Kevin to leave. He doesn't listen to her, so he and his friends start smashing anything they can find in the kitchen. Glass is broken, utensils are thrown, but the worst of all is that Dennis is getting beat up. Both Rich and Dennis run around the house trying to escape Kevin and his friends. They are in luck again, as Beth pulls up within her car and helps them escape. They escape and go to a gas station. Their plan is to buy some beer. Beth has a driving license that says she's 37 years old. As expected no one believes in that, and the clerk isn't buying it as well. Beth tries to flirt with the cashier, but he doesn't fall for it because he doesn't want to lose his job. Beth ends up kissing the cashier, and he finally lets her buy the beer. Dennis realizes that Beth is not like he had imagined and is very disappointed in her. Love can really make you blind, huh? The group ends up going to a secluded place, where they spend their time around a bonfire. Dennis is honest with Beth and tells her that she shouldn't use herself like that. She should have more self-respect. Kissing a stranger just for a beer was very low of her. Dennis explains that he respects Beth a lot and appreciates her. Beth realizes her mistakes. The words of Dennis help her gain her self-respect back. Beth realizes that she is loved truthfully and accepts Dennis's love. As Beth and Dennis are having a romantic moment, on the other side, Rich and Beth's friends find themselves at a cattle house. Rich steps into cow's dung accidentally. The cows notice that and one of them start chasing the group. They run back to the campfire but the cows are still after them. They get into Beth's car and drive off. Beth drives recklessly but all fun is stopped when a car is in the way. She's about to hit the car, but luckily she swings and the car stops. The funniest thing of all is that the other car was Dennis's parents' car and they were having romance in it. 
They drive off as they don't want to see Dennis's father in his underwear. They continue with the drive and decide to go to a party. Beth takes the group to Valley's house. A private party was happening. The group enjoys as they have lots of drinks, see lots of people and have lots of fun. However, they forget that Dennis's speech has upset a lot of people. All of those people are there, and let's just say it's not looking good for Dennis. He gets pulled aside by Greg and then is brought into a private room. Dennis accepts the fact that he is about to get his ass kicked. But something very interesting happens. Instead of getting his ass kicked, Dennis is surprised by a hug from Greg. Greg cries into Dennis's shoulder and tells him that he is the only one that understands him. He promises to Dennis that he will be his new best friend and that he's going to be there for him all the time. They hug, and although Dennis is confused he pats Greg on the shoulder as a sign of agreement. The party goes on and Dennis is seen enjoying it. Kevin can't seem to let the situation go as he attacks Dennis again. He's beating him up but is stopped by Greg. Remember when Greg said that he was Dennis's best friend? Well he kept his promise as he beat up not only Kevin, but his friends as well. Have I mentioned that Beth is a reckless driver? Well she proves that once more, as she crashes Kevin's car into the window, and rescues Dennis and Rich again. She takes them to her college. She has the keys to the entrance because she is a cheerleader there. They go into the gym and show off their moves. Dennis and Rich are impressed and they have a lot of fun. After the performance, the girls decide to have a group shower. Beth and her friends go to take a shower and Dennis gets nervous. He's nervous to see Beth in a towel. If you thought that Greg's beating was enough for Kevin, well you've thought wrong. Kevin and his minions show up again and try to beat Dennis. It seems that Dennis has bad luck and good luck equally. Surprise, he gets saved again. But it might surprise you to find out who saves him. It's his one and only best friend Rich. Rich fights the boys like a champ by using his towel as a weapon. He is able to fight them off. Beth is here to help them escape again. They drive off in her car. Beth makes Dennis take his shirt off. She plays with it through the window and it slips out of her hand. They get out of the car to find it. As they're searching for it, they get attacked by raccoons. Luckily they are able to escape. They decide their last destination to be the family cabin. Not knowing what to do, Beth and Dennis decide to watch the sunrise. They sit on the deck by the river. Over on the other side, in the house, Rich and Beth's friends are getting closer. They end up having some romance and that's when Rich realizes that he is gay after all. On the deck we can see Beth and Dennis's first kiss. After they kiss, Beth admits that she has made a huge mistake by choosing a man like Kevin. She calls Kevin a loser and says that he doesn't deserve to be with any girl. Beth and Dennis end up making love on the deck. The next morning they all arrive at Dennis's house. His parents are at the front and as they walk up to them, we can see the proud look on Dennis's father's face. His father realizes that Dennis had finally lost his virginity and cannot be happier. But the fact that the house was all broken down made him angry and Dennis would receive a great punishment for this. He may even be grounded. The time comes where the lovebirds have to separate from each other. Beth kisses Dennis and we can see the love that she has for him in her eyes. She feels loved, appreciated and respected. She thanks Dennis for loving her so much. Dennis is so happy. The movie ends in a rather shocking way. The lovebirds promise each other to reunite at a high college reunion and if they're single by then, they will marry each other. Beth drives off with her friends. Rich admits to Dennis that he is gay, but he also likes girls so I guess that makes him buy. Dennis cannot wait for the day of the reunion to see Beth. Rich, being the supportive friend that he is, suggests Dennis that he should propose to Beth. They end up discussing on how the proposal should be. And that is an end of a movie that is so funny yet shows what true love is. Sometimes we have to let go of the things we love in order to get them back. And if they don't come back, it wasn't true after all. We all hope that Dennis and Beth end up together. But the beauty of such ending is that we can make it be however we want to.